According to current research, this is how your newborn perceives the world. A blur of out-of-focus images, dulled colors, and muted sounds and sensations. So how do you connect with someone who is so disconnected from the physical world? And how do you provide the proper simulation to help their brains grow and adapt? In today's video, I'm going to show you some fun and easy ways to both simulate and connect with your 0-3 to three month old baby. Not only do these activities encourage brain growth in your little one, they will also provide opportunities for bonding and learning about the world together. So let's hop to it and learn some ways to play with your newborn baby. One of the easiest and possibly most important ways to connect with your baby is to offer them some face time. No, not that kind. This basically means to get close to them and allow them to study your face. The latest studies show that babies begin to recognize and distinguish between faces long before they can distinguish different shapes or patterns in their environment. They can focus on parts of faces near to them, and so by allowing your baby time to study your face, not only do they familiarize themselves with you, but you begin to simulate parts of their brain that are associated with their visual experience and their perceptual abilities. This also helps them to later be able to distinguish relevant social information, like emotions. Babies as young as a few days old can begin to mimic some of your facial expressions as well. So one fun game is to get close to your baby and stick your tongue out repeatedly and slowly and they should begin to stick their tongue out back at you as well. As they start to get a little older you can also mimic their sounds and facial expressions back to them and you might even get a laugh. Another important aspect of infant development is gaining spatial awareness. You can encourage this by simply allowing your child to stretch out on a blanket. Give them uninterrupted time to recognize and study their hands and the ways that their arms and legs move. This helps them to develop the neural pathways necessary for controlled movements, recognizing spatial concepts like distance, and may even play a role in their mathematical abilities later on in life. So give your baby time to stretch. Another fun way to play with your baby is to narrate your day to them. Show them different rooms in your home, talk to them about what you are doing or what they are seeing, and let them listen in on your phone calls. All of these activities have been shown to increase a child's IQ and their vocabulary range as they get older. You can also encourage development in your baby's language center by initiating in conversations where you give your child time to respond to your questions. Do you have a lot to say? Oh really? Is that is that why you won't nap? Yeah. That's why you won't nap? Because you have a lot to talk about? Another way to encourage communication is to begin signing with your baby. The newborn phase is an excellent time to introduce sign language for frequent activities like changing the diaper or nursing. Eros no longer cries during diaper changes because I always show him this sign first and he now knows what to expect. Signs are amazing tools that eventually allow your child to communicate with you long before they can speak. So start practicing now. Around five weeks of age, your baby will go through their first developmental leap and they will start to notice contrast and shadows. So give them time to study these as you encounter them around your home. Going back to the example of the newborn vision, it's easy to see why so many newborn toys have black and white high contrast images on them. Even with the most obscured vision, you can still pick out the high contrast image. If you don't have any black and white newborn toys laying around, you can also make your own by using a card or a piece of paper and just coloring an obscured black and white image on it, or you can print some out online. Studying these types of images encourages your baby's brain development in several areas, and they can also be used to encourage visual tracking as they are highly interesting to your newborn. Here's another high contrast game that your baby will love. Shine a flashlight on the wall in a darkened room and make shadow puppets and watch as their eyes light up. Also around five or six weeks, your baby will begin to exhibit their first social smiles, so be sure to pull out all the stops to get your baby to laugh or smile at your antics. Around this time, your baby can also pick up on different types of music, so it's a good idea to put some on in the background and let them listen while they're stretching out, or maybe even pick up your child and go for a dance around your living room or your kitchen. They really enjoy this activity. Around seven weeks, your baby will also start to recognize patterns, so be sure to give them lots of times to study the various patterns that you encounter throughout your day. Another skill that emerges around seven or eight weeks is the ability to grasp and hold on to a toy. 
You can encourage this behavior by offering your baby a small rattle or some of these little teething rings. They offer unique textures and they're easy and lightweight for a baby to hold on to. Also, after this mental leap, your baby will begin to clearly recognize different facial expressions. So going back to giving them lots of face time, make sure that you make some exaggerated expressions and give them time to study your face. Lastly, it's important to note that babies learn so much about their environment through their sense of touch. You can encourage this learning and growth by offering your baby a lot of unique sensory experiences throughout their day. One sensory game that my little guy loves is raising and lowering his muslin blanket over him like this. Sometimes I drop it on his belly so he can feel the different weights of the blanket and sometimes I just brush it across his face. He thinks this game is so much fun. Another way to offer your baby some sensory experiences is just to grab a few different unique items from your home and let your baby grasp them or show them to them. Um, the other day I picked up a lime and Eros really loved this. I scratched the surface of it so he could smell the strong citrus scent and he really locked in on this and kind of followed it everywhere that I moved it. Another great tool for sensory engagement are these uh, sensory books that they make for babies. They have different fabrics or textures on the pages. This is great because not only does it give you an opportunity to read to your child, it also gives them a lot of different textures that they can experience and it's all put together um, for you. Those first three months are filled with change. Your baby's brain will be growing at such a rapid rate, they'll be becoming more alert by the day and seem like they're literally growing in front of your eyes. And while the days are a blur of naps, feedings, and diaper changes, I hope you'll find some time to play with your baby. I also wanted to note that whenever you're playing with your child, make sure you're looking for signs that they're not overtired. So if they're sneezing or if they're looking away from you, um, they're yawning or closing their eyes, those are signs that they could be overstimulated or overtired and they're not really in the mood to play. All right guys, so that about wraps it up. I I hope you enjoyed this week's video on how to play with your zero to three month old baby. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification because this will be a series that goes all the way through baby's first year and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any future episodes. And until next time, adios.